I know what you're expecting, a full-blown musical number. But you're not getting it. No, because I gotta save some surprises for season two. So maybe we'll open with one of those. Dak TV presents Go to Bed with Johnny. And here he is, that beautiful piece of man. That is Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Yay! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the season finale of Go to Bed with Johnny. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've got so much news. Uh, but before we get into that, let's get into some, some Johnny facts. Johnny's got to go and find his cousin Donnie. I don't know where he is. We got to find him. Okay. Uh, I got a creepy phone call. Oh my gosh, that cult. They are just brutal. Oh my gosh. Okay. But I do have to go find my cousin Donnie. Okay. So Johnny's, Johnny's. Gotta get to work. But I will be going live on TikTok still while I am hunting over these next few weeks. So just stay tuned on there and you'll know when Johnny's back. I'll be on my socials, okay? So if you don't follow me there, then you're missing out, okay? Get on it. Jeez. But yes, I think it's time that we get on to what we're here for, which is the news. Because let me tell you. There's a lot of it. It's messy. It's exciting. It's, uh, heavy. It's, uh, a lot of things. It's a lot. Uh, so let's jump into our first segment of tonight's show, which is, of course, <gasps> Broken News! Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, first up in Broken News, we've got... Two of the largest uh, musicians to walk the planet. And I don't mean, like, the heavy. No. No, I mean, they're very famous and powerful. And we should be scared because they have a lot of power. Yeah, and control. Yeah. But anywho, we are talking about none other than Beyonce. And Taylor Swift! Yes! These two! Okay. So, I had mentioned earlier that these two are both getting major motion pictures out in AMC theaters, right? Uh, that follow both of their respected tours. And, apparently, Beyonce went to the premiere of Taylor Swift's movie! That's crazy to see those two together. Yeah, queens supporting queens, as people would say. <laughs> That's, that's great for Taylor to have that kind of support, right? Beyonce never comes to any of my premieres. <sighs> I would at least like Kelly Rowland to show up, or one of the Destiny's children, you know? Where, where, where are Destiny's children now, huh? Well, one of them's at Taylor Swift's movie premiere. Gosh. <laughs> No, but that's awesome, and apparently the, the internet went crazy, because, like, I mean, Beyonce's here at probably the largest movie uh, to come out this year, because let's face it, Taylor Swift is going to destroy the box office with this movie, because if you couldn't get tickets to the actual concert because you weren't going to pay $5,000, then this is a good uh, plan B, okay? But uh, that's not the only reason why Taylor is in the news, okay? <laughs> because... Apparently, Taylor Swift was, in fact, at the Chiefs game. Yes. Taylor went on to cheer on Travis Kelsey as they played the Denver Broncos, okay? Uh, and she was sitting next to Mama Kelsey, who not long ago had nothing really exciting to say about Taylor uh, when she was on a press tour. Why was Donna Kelsey on a press tour? I don't know. But she was, okay? She's everywhere. Donna Kelsey. Yeah. That family. I tell you what, they are them making some money. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, this whole Taylor Swift and the NFL thing. I mean, what do they show more of? Taylor Swift or the game? I don't I'm not gonna sit and watch to to time it out, but it feels pretty equal, honestly. We see just as much of Taylor as we see Travis. So Interesting, interesting. And this is her third game in the last four weeks. She's only missed one, okay? 
She didn't want to go to Minnesota. She said, mm-mm, I don't want to go there. So she didn't. But she is back uh, watching the game again. So all of you people who are saying they broke up, you can calm down. You're being too loud. They're still in love. Okay. <laughs> Also in the news, we've got Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. Okay. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Okay? I've been lied to. For years. We've all been lied to. Okay, so apparently Jada has revealed that her and Will have been separated for seven years. That's right. Seven years. That means when Will said, keep my wife's name out of your mother trucking mouth. To Chris Rock, uh, they were not even living together or uh, they're married by law, but they're separated. Yeah, what is going on? You know, and all of these rumors of, of Jada having an affair with the R&B singer and then come to find out they were separated, so she really wasn't cheating. She was just living her life out there. That's crazy. Ah, oh, yes, but uh, Jada is also revealing that Chris Rock apparently had reached out to her when he first heard news or rumors of her and Will splitting up and asked her for a date. Oh my gosh. So this was before the slap, um, and Jada was like, no, I'm still with Will, okay? And apparently Chris Rock uh, profusely apologized after that was explained to him. Um, but this is crazy, okay? What's going on in this relationship? Jada has tried to clarify, and she said, We love each other, uh, but we made a promise, and I am having a hard time breaking that promise. So we're just gonna stay separated and then lie to the public that we're still married. It just seems like they made it more messy than it needed to be, but what do I know? I don't know anything. <laughs> Uh, but that's crazy. That's some of the craziest Hollywood stuff I've heard in my lifetime. And I've heard a lot of crazy Hollywood stuff, okay? Oh my gosh. Also in the news, we've got some serious news here, okay? Uh, many, many famous public figures in Hollywood have signed an open letter and condemned the deadly attack on Israel by the Hamas militant group in the Gaza Strip. Uh, apparently, the open letter was signed by more than 700 entertainment industry figures and uh, was released by the nonprofit Creative Community for Peace uh, and also caused for the safe return of Israeli hostages held captive in Gaza. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Chris Pine, uh, uh, Michael Douglas, Jerry Seinfeld, Ryan Murphy, Gal Gadot, Amy Schumer, and many more signed this open letter. Um, and no one asked me to sign it, but I would. I would sign it. Um, it's sad, everything that's happening over there. It's very, very sad. Um, and I'm glad to see some people, you know, trying to use their, their platforms and their voices, um, to speak out about this. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't. It's scary. It is very scary. Our thoughts are with the, the, the people over there that, uh, um, you know, in the middle of this, this, this ongoing war, essentially. Um, very sad to see. Well, guys, that is all of the broken news that I've got for you. But don't worry, because we've got more news in our next segment, which we like to call Hyper Headlines. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. First up in Hyper Headlines, we've got... Diana Agron, who was in Glee, she played the girl who got knocked up in high school, yes, yes, uh, Quinn Fabre, okay, um, no, apparently she was on a red carpet at an event, and, uh, people were yelling at her, the, the paparazzi were yelling at her to move out of the way, uh, mispronouncing her name, first of all, not knowing who she is, this is Diana Agron, okay, uh, isn't your whole job to know who famous people are? <laughs> oh my gosh, no, but she was uh, standing there, and apparently the paparazzi was screaming, you're blocking a very important picture. Uh, and that picture was of Sarah Jessica Parker, 
at the New York City's Ballet 2023 Fall Gala. Uh, and the video was posted on TikTok. And, you know, Diana can be seen looking, like, absolutely gorgeous out there, strutting her thing, talking with friends. Uh, and then there they are, just yelling at him, shouting at Diana and and the, the fella that she was speaking to. And, yeah, they're like, who is that? I don't even know who that is. And then the one paparazzi goes, she dated Taylor Swift. That's a rumor. No one knows that it, they dated. I mean, it'd be interesting if they did. <laughs> okay. But why didn't that get as much coverage as Travis Kelsey? Huh? Interesting. Uh, yeah, but it was it was followed by a couple sarcastic comments like, you're not in the way at all. Okay, now you're just being rude, okay? I hate a mean paparazzi, and I deal with a lot of paparazzi, <laughs> okay? They're always trying to take my pictures. I'm like, no, don't do it. I'm not, I'm not ready, okay? How about now? Okay, <laughs> yeah, no. Also in the news, we've got... Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. Oh my gosh, we've been following this and it's been making me exhausted. Okay, the whole thing is just messy, uh, pretty unnecessary. Uh, they just probably shouldn't have gotten married after only seeing each other for a very short period of time. But hey, who cares, right? <laughs> what do I know? I've been divorced like, um, like 15 times. Funny, whatever, who's counting? <laughs> Joe and Sophie have uh, made a statement saying that they have reached an agreement when it comes to the custody of their children, and uh, the kids will spend res respective times at both the UK and in the US, uh, and they are excited to be co-parents. So, I don't know. You know, they weren't very friendly to each other there. So I don't know how friendly they're going to be as time goes on, right? I don't know. I feel like this story isn't done yet. But we'll keep an eye on it and let you know what happens with Joe and Sophie. Ugh, messy. Also in the news, we've got the Olympic gymnast Mary Lou Raton. Retton? Raton? How do you... Oh, gosh, I'm the worst. She's a gold medalist. And, and like, super viral, famous, amazing. Just and I'm just out here being an imbecile. But anyways, uh, Mary Lou is uh, reportedly fighting for her life with a rare form of pneumonia. Her daughter says. Um, apparently, daughter came onto social media and uh, just said, you know, thank you for the support of my mother. We didn't know how many people truly loved and cared for her, uh, and it's just been very great and uplifting to see. Um, but she also shared that, you know, they're having difficulties paying for these, these medical bills because, uh, her mother does not have health insurance, which is just sad, okay? What kind of country are we living in if an Olympic gold medalist can't even get health insurance from the country that she represented in the games? See, this is the type of thing Johnny would fix if he was in office. Yeah, but uh, that's very sad, and we hope she can make a recovery. Uh, I'm sure the doctors are doing all that they can, uh, but we will keep an eye on that as well and uh, keep you updated when we get more news. Jeez, guys, well, that is all of the news that I've got for you tonight, sadly. I know, I know. Um, but I do want to leave you with a little piece of an update of something that we had talked about previously, which is the SAG after a strike, right? Uh, we talked about the Writers Guild strike and how that ended. Well, apparently, the the Screen Actors Guild strike is still ongoing after getting an even worse deal offered to them than they had previously had offered. So uh, this is just brutal. Okay, come on, give these people their money. Okay, give them what they're worth. Okay, and don't be replacing them with AI. Ah, oh, gosh. It's just sad. It's very sad. Um, but we'll see how the rest of the strike goes. If it ends the same way the Writers Guild strike ended with a fair deal. Um, but we'll keep an eye on that as well. But that is all of the news that I do have for you guys tonight. But geez, I can't let you go without finding out what's in my drawers. 
What's in them? Will we ever know? Yes, we will, right now. Oh my gosh. Perfect way to end season one. With a game of a question of scruples. Oh, I love this game. Okay, so we're going to see where your morals lie, where my morals lie, if we're good people, bad people, or uh, somewhere in between. <laughs> okay, like purgatory. Yeah. The taxi driver you get at 2 a.m. is drunk and driving recklessly. After he lets you off safely at home, do you report him? Yeah. Uh, I would say that is a reportable offense, okay? <laughs> uh, not safe at all. Not good if your career is driving other individuals and you're wasted behind the wheel, okay? Not good at all, but also, snitches get stitches. No, you should snitch, okay? You gotta. You gotta do what's right. He could hurt someone out there, okay? Jeez. That's interesting. Okay, you are divorced with two adolescent children. Do you let your lover sleep over? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, how young are my adolescent children? And how long have I been divorced? And is this lover a new lover? Or have I had this lover for a long time? I don't know. Um, I would, I would say n n maybe sneak them in through the window. Um... Or just say, this is my friend, um, and we're going to go um, play Monopoly or the game of life, <laughs> okay? No, maybe don't invite your lover, okay? <laughs> you have no fondness for a wealthy aunt. She is old and looking for heirs. Oh. Do you treat her more kindly? Yeah. Yeah, I will. I'll treat her very nice. Okay? And then I'll take it all. And I'll run away. Yep, yeah, that's right. I'll say, yeah, that's right. I got mine. Okay? Yeah, after all you put me through, Aunt Helga. I don't know what the aunt's name is, but if she's a wicked old witch, I'm going to take all her, her money. Okay? Because she deserves that. And I deserve it after the years of torture she put me through. Okay? Jeez. Oh! On a cold winter day, you notice a bum who has passed out on the sidewalk. No one else is around. Do you try to help him? Oh my gosh, what's he doing out there? Oh, he passed out? Oh gosh. Okay, well, I would like to help him. Can I get him a cheeseburger? What Do I have to put him in my car? Do I give him a blanket? What do I do? I don't know. You can't trust anyone these days. They'll shank you. They'll get you. Right in the jugular. Yeah, and if you give them cash, they'll just go and get some drugs on the street. And then pass out on another street. Oh, gosh. I'm very conflicted with this one. Um... Maybe I'd get him a, a blanket or 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 a cheeseburger, you know, and that would be my help. Maybe try to put him someplace that's not on the middle of a sidewalk, passed out, face down. Uh, because that just seems dangerous. What if bikers come around or something? Yeah, biking on a cold winter day. That makes sense, Johnny. Anywho, that is all the time we got for a question of scruples, guys. And that is it for tonight's show. Oh my gosh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments down below, and follow me on all social media to stay up to date on what I'm doing and to stay tuned for season two. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, I love you all. Thank you for a great first season, and I can't wait to be back, okay, with more news. Good night, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Yes. Oh, yeah. Night, night. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be thinking about that homeless man just passed out with his face in the snow all night now. It's going to it's a real moral dilemma that I'm having here. And it's not even a real thing, but it could be. It's very it's a very real scenario. Oh, that's sad. <laughs>
Call the bed with Johnny. Dak Buster. Malibu, Malibu Nights. Will you talk dirty to me? Different unique takes on movies and TV shows. A word, because every episode is a drinking game built in. Always. Uh Is this the it puts the lotion on? <laughs> also in the news, we've got it's not a beauty bear. That is someone's burger. Ah, the Red Bull enhances the drunkness. Huh?